Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. Wait, this like, drink some water or something. What do you got going on? <laughs> Clear your throat. That's because I was yawning. Like Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for The Good Place, Season 3, Episode Number 7. Yes, before we jump into that, I just have one comment to feature from executive producer and longtime supporter, Lissette Bandera on Episode 6, who just comes through to say, love the reaction, guys. This was a brilliant episode, and I love Tahani's reconciliation with yeah. her sister. And I'm glad Michael helped Eleanor with her mother. If it was anyone else other than Michael, that would have gone horribly wrong. Yeah. Can't wait for the next episode. Yeah. Well, let's I mean, jump. I think if it was, was cheating, it probably could have went kind I think out of way. everybody, the only person yeah. that it potentially would have still been okay with is cheating. Yep. <laughs> everybody else probably would not have brought any value to that situation. Yep. So, but let's jump into episode seven right now. This library is depressing. All they have to do the this section is Jeff Foxwood in books. Well, we needed some place deserted, and there's no place more deserted than a public library in Arizona. <laughs> now let's go, man. Three second memory. Why only three seconds? Oh, hi, Eleanor. Oh, no, I don't know, Eleanor. Morning, Mama John. Morning, Vicky. Those two are such forking dweebs. As I told you, recalling afterlife memories here on Earth has some significant side effects. You should be back to normal in a while. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's horrific! You should be back to normal here in a couple seconds. Don't fuck before. with no big ass owl. We're gonna just stare at it. Yeah, I'll okay. kill you. Whatever, and maybe you'll still get a puppy instead of deep wounds. Can you do that? Of course, it's the least I can do, considering everything you've done for me. So you get it, right? Hey, I thought the one they fell in love with was that old girl's place. Well, that's only the part of it we got to see. Oh, so you think they're gonna go there? At some point? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Why don't you want me to see this? What are you hiding? Nothing. You didn't have like a go ahead on my hair. horses growing up? Oh, of course, but they just pulled our carriages or performed in our horse ballets. You want to say, what? Babe, it's just like sitting on your head. <laughs> With whom can I speak about acquiring new shoes? Where the fuck are you? Lizard! <gasps> Why didn't I name you? Hey! Ah! What? <gasps> oh! oh no! Hey! Then soaring through the air like an owl? That's amazing. You're amazing. <gasps> After that, you spent all your time together. You studied philosophy together. You even got Chidi hooked on popcorn shrimp. I love you. And you don't need to respond, because I know you have trouble saying how you feel. I love you, too. That's the story. You're capable of human love. Congrats. Can we go now? How did it end? You orchestrated the whole pet day thing, manipulated us into choosing specific animals, made my lizard run away, which led to Chidi coming to help me find it, which led to us kissing, which led to us falling in love. None of that was my choice. Everything in my life has been determined by my upbringing, my genetics, or my environment. I'd take off if I were you. Second we close, I use this place to shoot pornos. But whatever I choose will be the result of millions of biological, genetic, and societal factors that are entirely outside my control. I see. 444. Four, four. Now, is Chidi trapped in the purple space bubble? Yes. Is he in pain? Almost certainly. Will he ever get out? No. However, uh, yeah, uh, wrong one. Wrong one. I mean, that's what? good watch. <laughs> Well, he ever uh, it's not the one I was thinking. It's probably uh four four five. You in here. You. Let's go off. You are wearing me out. <laughs> you. Hell. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna use my free will right now to go pick up our friends at the airport. Worst possible use of free will, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I care about 
job, Michael. You might want to head out, too. We're closing soon, and the second we do, they use this place to shoot porn. What is happening? <laughs> this is Arizona, right? Is that where they're at? <laughs> 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 was amazing. You might want to get out of here. <laughs> second they close, they use this place to shoot porn. I've got this fun to remember that we're legally married. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> Turn on the old blame hose. Blame hose. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I don't ice tea. The old blame hose. It's exactly what you should do when your friend is being annoyed. Oh, baby, let's go all day. Let's go all day. You get your old blame hose. This is all day. You know what's up at the afterlife. Oh, my God. You need to be bold. Take the Soul Squad to the next level somehow. You're right. We need to find someone who can serve as a, as a blueprint for humanity. Someone whose life is so great that we can use it as a model to get as many points for as many people as possible. And I think I know. Am I on Earth? Did you figure out a way to build an illegal door to Earth? Yes. That's exactly what I did. Well, we all help. Shut up, Glenn. What do you say? Well, we all help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was episode seven of The Good Place. And all right, so it's been a while since we've seen the Bad Place people um, get back involved. But now we see that they're starting to come back into the picture, which now shit about to probably get a little real. But this whole time building up to it has been it's been amazing. I mean, it's really good to see every character get their own backstory we talked about. We, now we see Eleanor. This episode was a finally we got a breakdown of the her and Chi being in love, which is great because we never did get the see diagnose the that one. Yeah, so this was this was great and this was a good um, learning experience for Eleanor to point out one of her flaws in her life is she is very vulnerable and when she does get vulnerable, she lashes out. She lashes out with the blame holes and it was, it was an excellent episode. Yeah, I love this episode so much and like uh, it just speaks so much to Michael's growth as a character as well for him to be like uh, the whole thing about uh, free will and making the choice to go yeah. help his friends even though that's lame. I just thought it was adorable. It's so sweet. And I like how he keeps saying our friends. Like, this is our squad. Like, it's about, you know, yeah. all of us. I just love him so much. I like him being the one, again, that kind of helps uh, Eleanor process through her... The same way that Eleanor helped Michael back in the... Uh, trolley episode when he was lashing out because he was be feeling vulnerable too i thought yeah. that was just great that they keep balancing each other out and seeing and able to identify when they're lashing out um yeah. because they see that in themselves yeah. too so i thought that was really good um but i'm really excited now to see for one i thought it was great that it's an illegal door that uh from how from the yeah, back place can come so then i'm like what are they gonna do though so yeah. now like you're on earth like what are you gonna do? Yeah. Um, Everybody coming through. And what's up with Arizona with these porn sites, man? Like, what's good? If anybody out there that's that's from Arizona, what's up with these libraries and diners? And hey, you better so get out of here before it closes. <laughs> oh man, that was a good uh, it was a good punchline in the show. But man, it was a good episode. I mean, it was this, uh, this show. It, it draws you in. If at this point. You love all the characters, you love the whole story that's going on, and you following along, and it's just it's just good every single time. So um, I'm wondering too <clears> if uh, if this is gonna open up Eleanor for trying to pursue something with Chidi, because that would be interesting. But I absolutely love seeing the flashbacks. Like it was so yeah. worth like, like is having it real? taking forever. Is it real? Oh my gosh, it was hilarious too with the um, when they first had Eleanor look at the three second and like her oh. whole face. <laughs> Man, crazy. she burned up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, but I like the ability to look back on some of their past lives. I thought that was super creative for this episode, too. Yeah. Even with uh, Michael trying to figure out which member or which moment he was trying to look back on and making a mistake with that mm -hmm. a couple times. I just thought that was super fun. It was great to look back and be able to see that. Yeah. Um, overall, super solid episode. I love it. It really was. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for The Good Place, uh, Season 3, Episode Number 7. And until next time, people. Peace. Hold up, hold up, guys. What you mean, what's up, man? The last, the last time you fucked the club, man. Come on, Papa. Oh, no, we have marijuana all over, man. Botella por donde quiera. Come on, what the shit is that, man? Esto se tiene que parar ya, Papa. Keep us
simple, simple. Okay. Okay, guys. That's it. Keep it simple. Vamos para adelante con todo el mundo. You wanna go in? All right, all right, guys. Come on, right, guys. The last time when I was doing.